Hey, welcome. Today's discussion is going to cover why should we use a realtor during a new construction build? Yeah, why do you need a realtor? We're going to find out. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Thanks for staying tuned. Mm -hmm. Like I said, today's topic is, do you really need a realtor if you're going to have a brand new house being built? And the and answer is? Definitely. <laughs> we get asked this a lot, and actually a lot of people don't realize that uh, we can help you with new construction. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just think that we uh, can show them resales, but that we actually are not able to go into new construction communities right. and show them different builders and models and mm -hmm. so on and, and help them from, from the scratch. Yeah, in new construction, there's a lot of misconception about how realtors play a role or if they can play a role. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of new construction. As a matter of fact, presently we have six new builds going on at this time. And mm -hmm. how do we intervene or how do we, how do we help you in a new construction? Well, negotiating mm -hmm. is first of all. There's a lot of things that we work with the builders and we know that they can and can't do, things like that. So yeah. negotiation is a huge aspect of mm -hmm. um, buying a purchase, purchasing that's, a home. That's right. And with our knowledge of all the various builders mm -hmm. and communities in the area, we can really kind of point you in the right direction for what you're looking for. And we really know what the, the sticking point is for various builders, what they can give, what they uh, are, right. cannot so give. So there's a lot of different so. things that different builders can do. Mm -hmm. So after the negotiations, what else can we do? We can help you throughout the build. I'm on job sites weekly doing videos. Mm -hmm. I was just on one this morning about 7.30 doing a video for our client. And we monitor yep. the build. I work with the builders on a weekly mm -hmm. basis to make sure that the house is coming along and having things put in that's supposed to be there. Definitely, we keep a close eye on it. Like for instance, here this mm -hmm. morning, uh, when they were pouring the concrete, right. Dwight was able to catch them because they were pouring, uh, going to be covering over the electrical outlet. Yeah, there was some, there was some problems with the so. job and I was able to catch mm -hmm. it and get things rectified yeah. beforehand or else they probably would have had to live with it for the rest of their that's okay. right. And there's okay. there's so many instances where it is very vital to be able to keep right. an eye on every single process that's going on. And if you're not local or if you're busy with work, you don't have time to be on the job site sure. every day. So we that's stay. Job. Yep, that's my job. <laughs> anyway, we stay on the job site throughout mm -hmm. the entire process all the way up to and including closing. So all the processes involved in negotiations through mm -hmm. design center, picking out all your goodies that are going in the home, working with the builders to make sure the home is built that's right. right we're on the job site weekly. That's right. And so, anyway, so that's kind of a quick summary of mm -hmm. what goes on during a new build. And so we appreciate you guys tuning in. And until next time, have a fantastic day. Yep. If you have any other questions, want to discuss anything, give us a call. Absolutely. Take care. Bye-bye.